All right, so I'm gonna be hooking a 50 amp plug up uh, to my house so that I can hook my camper up to it. I just wanna go over some quick things. Um, number one, I am not a licensed uh, electrician. Um, this is at your own risk. But for me, I'm just gonna run it, a new plug or a new breaker rather right here and go down uh, the wall a little bit, come out the wall and just go around it here in the corner and run my plug underneath the, the garage door. Um, but yeah, so this is the plug. I got it from Home Depot. I'll put all the part numbers and information and stuff for all the stuff that I'm using. And then we're going to be using a six gauge, uh, six slash three, um, uh, electrical wire that I've also bought from Home Depot to, uh, to actually hook up to the circuit breaker and stuff. Also make sure that you look at your breaker. So you know which one to buy. I actually bought three just in case because I didn't take my own advice. Um, and hopefully one of the three is going to work out. It kind of looks like this one right here, but it's just there's differences in how it hooks up. And so we'll find out here in a minute whether or not I got that. So right offhand, looking at my other 60 amp plug or breaker, dab elastic, um, you can see that it's got feet. Dab elastic, I can't hold my, I'm about to get crazy with this and shock myself. But over here where it connects to this bar over here, there's feet on it. Um, and for example, this one does not have the right setup. So it's either gonna, I'm pretty sure it's this guy right here that has feet. And this guy has feet, but they're smaller. I'm pretty sure that the middle one's the right one. But yeah, recap, I took the screws off. There were six screws on this big panel and I just pulled the panel off. Be careful, right now the power is still on. Um, but once I go to hook everything up here, I'm going to turn the power off on the main circuit breaker right there. All right, look, we recap. So I took out a piece of drywall with the razor blade, um, just so I could kind of see everything and, and make sure everything's good to go. I wasn't like drilling or cutting or anything here wire. I've got my piping uh, set up. I'll put all the links to the pieces that so this is just a different color one. So medium gray, just kind of match. If you get a little crazy with it, it'll match the uh, piping. But here's an example, right? Make sure that it's clean. So that's the cut end that I had taken some sandpaper and just cleaned up, but uh, that's a cut end that isn't cleaned up. So cut, you know, cut it, clean it up, be done with it. Um, once you put the glue on there, Put them together, you can put them on both ends, one end, whatever. Um, but put it on there and put it in the position that you want it within you know a few seconds because it's gonna it's gonna seat up and, and not be able to move at all. So I've got this piece, a straight piece, a 90 degree piece, and all these are three quarter. Um, I would kind of suggest going a little bit bigger than three quarters, kind of a pain in the butt. Um, and then right there there's a, a threaded end fitting piece going into it inside there. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to turn the power off and then <clears throat> start wiring my stuff up. But you see how there's, uh, right there, there's white wire and ground wire hooked up. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use that for both. And then you see also too, there's some that have uh, two blacks leading into the fuse or breaker. Um, and some have a red and a black. I can't remember if this one's a red and black line, but if it is a red and black, then that's where it's going to go. It's going to go into the fuse side. <clears throat> um, I think that's it. Be careful. If you aren't comfortable with this, then don't do it. Okay. But make sure you turn off the main circuit breaker, main circuit breaker, everything in the house should be off if you turn that off. Uh, so no power would be supplied to any of this stuff. Um, but yeah. All right. So a, a big suggestion too, just make sure you get excess, right? So I've got these wires separated um, and I'm gonna cut them accordingly to how long I need them to be. Um, leave yourself excess, especially on this side too. So, all right, so I wanna show you real quick. Um, I haven't got the breaker mounted yet, but I got the red and the black and then the breaker, 50 amp circuit breaker. And then coming out of my line right here, it runs up on the right side and the very bottom right there is sort of try to position the light. You've got um, the big six gauge white wire going into there and then the ground as well. I'm going to try to tuck those a little bit better afterwards. But all we're going to do with this guy, let's see if I can. 
is oh, fudge on it. All I'm gonna do with this guy is we're gonna shove it um, the feet first in and then snap it over. Okay? Again, make sure all the power's off. Alright, I gotta get it. Freaking A. Um, I had to rewrite the reroute to the wires behind the big ones right here. Um, and just like I said, you know, push it in, but make sure those feet on the left are in before you push it in on the right. So I've still got the power off, the breakers off as well. But um, so I'm gonna finagle these wires, kind of get them tucked in there, don't get them like you know bent too hard or whatnot. But this ground is gonna go in the top right here. Um, you've got the red on one side and the black on the other or black and black and then the white neutrals on the bottom with the ground on the top and just to make sure you guys are tracking that's the top the ground is going to be on the, the bigger one and then on the bottom that's the neutral all right there it is so it's a pain in the butt um just because the wires are really tight to make sure you feed the uh the panel through those two little uh, nubs right there and then get the screw in at the bottom so now I'm going to turn the power on to the entire house and then I'm going to turn on the breaker. I'm going to take a, uh, a multimeter and touch these two together, make sure it's 120, touch these two together, make sure it's 120, and then you can touch the two sides together and it should be um, 240. So, all right. So there it is. I'm just going to push that wire in a little bit more and put the cover on. I got my box. Just make sure again, seriously, uh, make sure that you turn off the circuit breaker before you hook up the plug to the camper. And then I always like to do the vice versa too, turn it off before you unhook it. So let me know if you got any questions. Um, like the video and subscribe.